How's it going, everybody? Derek from Pop Up Camper Pro, take two. How's it going, everybody? Hey, it's me, Derek from Pop Up Camper Pro. We're in car mode. So, spend another day making more products for you guys for our Coleman and Fleetwood pop up campers. Before I head home, figure I'd run back to the shop, take some voltage readings from a current limiter for a power lift system. So, this way you'll know if uh, you're suspecting you might have a problem with the current limiter, I'll show you what the voltage is supposed to be and when they're acting properly, and I'll show you the override. So, I'm gonna get you turned around and uh, let's cruise back to the shop real quick. We're not that far away. The area I work at is really pretty, especially this time of year. I've got a really cool ride back and forth to uh, work. I uh, get to cross over a covered bridge. That's pretty cool. Uh, over a um, medium-sized river, the Monocacy. Uh, lots of farmland, too. I grew up dairy farming, so, you know, just seeing all the family farms still in the area is important to me. Uh-oh, I'm not even sure this camper's here anymore. And it is not. It was right there on the left yesterday. All right, we gotta go find our pop-up. <laughs> hey, Dan. Hey. Where'd the uh, Saratoga go? I don't know. Maybe double check with either Damon or Zach. Okay, thanks, man. Hey, Damon. Hey, where'd the uh, Saratoga go? Oh. Where's it at right now? Yeah. It's in the shop? What? Thanks. Look, we found her, everybody. Woo! All right, let's get some voltage readings. Say so you get to the campsite with your pop-up camper with the power lift system and the power lift isn't working, uh, or you have a dead battery and you don't have any shore power. Um, here's the here's voltages uh, that you can check if you're lucky enough at the multimeter uh, while you're there or one that you can borrow or when you get home to diagnose a problem. Well, I'll also show you in this video too how to override the system and raise a unit with power lift just with a normal crank handle. So first, we're gonna take the cover off the battery or we could just unplug the battery too and check the connections, but we'll just go ahead and check the uh, battery terminals first. Make sure we have at least 12 volts on the battery. So multimeter, 12 volt scale. And black on negative red and we're reading 12.8 volts. So this battery is in good condition. Okay, next we'll take a look at the voltage out of the current limiter. Now, again, this unit is working fine. So this video is gonna show you what the voltage reading should be when the units are in good working condition. And we can see this camper is not plugged in shore power. Got a remote. And finding the power leads coming right out of the top of the motor head, we can unplug this unit right behind here. Here's the connection that we unplugged. This harness is going right into the motor head for the power lift motor. So this is the connection you want to unplug as well if you ever have to override uh, the lift system. Okay, plug in my multimeter into the harness out of the current limiter. Hitting the remote. Good. And good. All right, for the override adapter, unplug the motor, use your crank handle, put it into the override adapter, and raise the roof. Now, um, if you have battery power or 12 volt or you're on shore power, plug the motor back in and it'll re-engage the electric brake that's inside this motor head. Uh, if you don't, go ahead and get the screen door in position as soon as possible. And uh, the screen door is your uh, roof brace on Coleman or Fleetwood pop-up campers. And that does it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and I will see you at the campground.